afternoon, YouTube. Chad Sexton here, Sexton Chainsaw Carvings. Uh, out here in the woods, you know. Got this nice little little pine stump right here. Uh, I'll try to turn this into a, uh, you know, for all the Alabama fans out there that's been asking for something. Every time I go to one of these shows, people always ask me, why don't you do an elephant head? Why don't you do an elephant head? And uh, so I tried one the other day at the house, and it turned it turned out okay. I mean, it's doable. It's not, it's not just impossible with the tools that I use. So, uh, you know, but I just don't, uh, you know, with the ears and the width of a log, it's just it's hard to get in a, a big piece of wood like that to the house. And uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this one right here, and we're gonna try to carve us an elephant hand with the trunk kind of wrapping around on a pedestal and uh, see what we can do. But, uh, you know, I appreciate the subscribers, appreciate the likes, you know, comments, good, bad, let me know how I'm doing, let me know if you want, what you want to see. And, uh, you know, if you got something you'd like me to try to carve, let me know. You know, first one always comes out a little, little kind of, a little weird, but the second ones, the more you do it, you know, the better it turns out. But, um, you know, I really appreciate, you know, the support that everybody's giving me. And, um, you know, as always, we got our steel MS-170, basic bar and chain. You know, no special tools, no special carving chainsaw, same as we always do it, folks. You know, eye protection, ear protection, that way we ain't deaf when we get through running the chainsaw, we ain't blind either. But uh, it's a beautiful day out here, Mother Nature, just out here and enjoying it. You know, most of the time my wife comes with me. She wasn't feeling too good, so she's at the house. Um, just kind of out here by myself, just hanging out and uh, enjoying a little time out in Mother Nature. But, uh, but, you know, like I said, always appreciate the thumbs up, appreciate, you know, like, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, let's just see what we can do. Let's get the chainsaw going, gassed up and everything, and uh, see if we can turn this into a pretty cool piece. All right, thank you. All right, you two. So here's a rough carving just out in the woods. Let me give you a little, little walk around there. You know, got some base on it. Got a little basic, basic elephant shape. You know, got a little see-through, kind of add a little details. Got the head on it. You know, got the trunk where it's kind of wrapping around. Got the ears. It looks kind of symmetrical. Trunk. I like how the trunk wraps around. No better side view. I like it with the trunk coming around to this side. Holding to the pedestal. Yeah. Not bad at all, you two. Not bad at all. Basic chainsaw, MS-170. We're going to take him home, set him up. We're going to clean him up, do a little more detail, and I'll get all that on video. And uh, we got the rough carving right here. And, uh, all right, give me just a second, I'll get right back away. Dusty, ball head cover with that stall down. Alright folks, this right here is just a basic carving, a little something trying to, you know, trying to start with. You know, I mean, I've, I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos, they say you need to have two show stoppers and then, you know, your inventory to sell. Um, I'm kind of okay at my Eagles, never really tried the elephant, I live right here in Alabama, so, you know, everybody's a huge Alabama fan, and uh, thought, well, you know, might as well try to carve one, see if we can do it, you know, don't know deep try, same as life, don't know deep try. And, uh, but this is it, folks. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Once I put a little more detail on him, put a little detail on the trunk, you know, put a little mouth on him and all that, put the eyes, and, uh, you know, might try to carve something, you know, Alabama, Bama, something like that, you know, and, uh, see what we got. But, uh, this right here is a really cool piece. I'm kind of proud of this one, folks. And, uh, like always, you know, hey, man, we're going to, we're going to keep carving. We're going to drag him out of here. Ain't nothing like, you know, hauling lumber up out of the woods. But uh, 
I'll show that just for a, just for funny, you know, just for fun and games. I'll show you dragging me this puppy uphill. It's all uphill now. And uh, but yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. I mean, you know, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Tune in. Stay tuned. We're gonna get back with you a little more of this video. All right. All right, a little quick walk around there. This is a little elephant. A little trunk wrapped around the pedestal. With the Alabama. Could have done a little better on the bee, but you know, basic chainsaw. A little grinding. I love the way this old pine looks. Love the way the pine looks. Yeah. Got your trunk wrapping around. Got his head, got his little mouth on there. Okay. Check him out. All you Alabama fans out there. Uh oh, something fell in it. Look at that. He has ears on him. A little better on the ears. A lot better on the eyes than did on the last one. A little more big cut on the trunk. Pastel looks pretty good. Right. Yeah, let me know what you think, you two. And uh, we'll see what you got. All right. All right, you two. Chad Sexton, Sexton Chainsaw Carvings. Two day video. You know, first day, a couple hours cutting in the woods. Had to uh, you know, shave all the excess off. Plus, you can leave a mess out in the woods. I'm pretty, uh, kind of like that. Um, Try it out, but next time we're gonna try, we're gonna put some tusk on him and uh, make him look a little more aggressive. But uh, you know, just for this, my second one I've ever tried. First one was just a basic elephant head, it turned out okay. See if I could do it. Uh, thought we'd do something a little more, <clears throat> a little more in depth, and uh, I really like the way it turned out. You know, I mean, I, I really do. It's pretty cool, you know, kind of centerpiece, little, you know, like it's all, you know, little showstoppers, whatever, you know, as far as a, you know. Did it all with MS-170, basic chainsaw, uh, bar and chain, drill master four and a half inch angle grinder, uh, 36 grit grinding pad. So it's all basic affordable tools. And, uh, but that's it folks. I'm gonna put the video together, post it on YouTube. And uh, like I say, you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, tell me if you wanna see something, I'll try, try anything, you know. Um, just let me know. Hey, I appreciate all the support, and uh, as always, let's carve together.